<laughs> Don't look at me, I get embarrassed. <laughs> uh, it's going to be a non-Bach day today. Mm. I'm just, I'm very, very, very tired. And I've got, the quality of my playing just goes, goes down. Also, mm. I can't really justify practicing and recording Bach when I have this to do. <laughs> so, <laughs> look at that. So, um... Yeah, I took the last of all out of the entire cupboard. You did. I, I, I have, I've got mum duties to do. However, I won't um, do nothing today. I'm gonna do something I've been meaning to do for a while. And I want to do a list of my favourite musicians who are um, doing concerts and online content during lockdown. I've been told that I really, really am supposed to be saying, please like and subscribe to my channel to get subscribers. Apparently, if you don't say it in the video, it doesn't happen. So please like and subscribe. Hit the subscribe button because it really, really helps me. I need to hit 1,000 subscribers in order to be able to monetize this channel. And since all of my concerts are now cancelled until 2021 at the earliest, you would be doing me a huge favour. So like, subscribe, and I'll be back in a second. Um, so the first person that I would like to recommend to you is my good friend, Fenella Humphreys. Sorry, Fenella, I can't speak. Cheers. <laughs> Fenella Humphreys, who's another violinist, and she's doing um, concerts from home. She commissions a lot of new music and she does something called um, New Music Wednesdays. So she gives a, a voice to lots of um, new composers who are writing stuff currently. And, and you hear some really surprising, some really beautiful things that I just would never come across otherwise. Um, so give her a listen. So you might have noticed it's a different day, temporarily, because I'm an idiot and I accidentally deleted some of the footage from last night. My next recommendation is uh, a super awesome string quartet from Kansas City. And they happen to be made up of two um, alumni from the Royal Academy of Music in London, uh, who are married, Keith and Ashley Stanfield, and they vlog, and I do believe actually most of their concerts are fundraisers. Um, they play a lot in the local community. I'm a huge fan of their programming. They do my favourite quartets all the time. They do Ravel, they do um, the late Beethoven, they've just done Beethoven 1 through 2, which is my all time favourite. Um, they've done the Beethoven with the harp. They do Haydn, they do Mozart, they do gorgeous, like mainstream solid, beautiful repertoire. They shoot so well with such lovely sound quality that I don't feel I'm like, oh god, it's another online concert. Um, I just feel like I'm actually there. So when Zoom fatigue <laughs> sets in, that's actually really valuable. Oh, I've just realised a really funny link. I can't believe it's taken me 24 hours to realise. My lovely friend Giacomo Smith, the incredible jazz clarinetist and saxophonist, who um, is uh, also the kind of face slash boss of the Kansas Smitties, um, who are an amazing jazz band. And such is my ignorance that I hadn't heard of them and didn't realise that they're actually really quite big. Um, they even have their own jazz club in, uh, I think, on Broadway. Um, could be wrong, but it's somewhere cool like that. <laughs> so we run a bar on Broadway Market. We have a, a bar called Kansas Smitty's, and if you haven't been down, we'd love to see you there. So, bit of backstory. You might have spotted I'm not a jazzer, but when lockdown started, I um, happened to be doing one of the most fun jobs in the world, which I'm so lucky to have, um, which is playing in the band, in the onstage band for Rob Brydon's show, Songs and Stories, where he does a load of stand up and tells stories from his life and then segues into loads of different songs. Literally the most fun I've ever had at work. <laughs> so good. And I was so gutted when it ended, when everything had to be cancelled. Look at this smile on my face. Like, this was how I felt all day every day when I went to work when <laughs> that was happening. So I found myself sitting in a lineup on the stage uh, with Giacomo. 
and he invites very cool guests. Um, I think he recently had Guy Barker on. Um, one day I tuned in and it was a flamenco guitarist that I'd never heard of, but who was absolutely phenomenal. And I know next to nothing about jazz, but it's just been so fun to learn from him and, and learn to start doing a little bit of improvising and, and learn to listen and learn who to listen to. And he's just got a wealth of knowledge and a wealth of contacts. Tune in every single day at five o'clock. And, um, and you will never be disappointed. It's a different guest every day, different type of music every day, but it's a new world to me. I'm just being introduced to loads and loads of new music that I've never heard before and loads of musicians that I've never heard of. So f for me, it's a completely, I'm, I'm like a fish out of water, but I'm absolutely loving it. Um, so it's the Kansas Smitties live at five on YouTube. The amazing soprano Lucy Crow, um, who's really just fabulous, has been doing uh, regular doorstep concerts in her neighbourhood, like literally right outside her front door. Um, and the whole street comes out to listen. And, and sometimes she's singing like high opera arias, and sometimes she's singing jazzy stuff, and sometimes she's singing songs composed by her um, French horn player husband Joe. And I find it personally really, really moving that she's introducing loads of people who might not otherwise listen to classical music to, to just somebody who stands in her normal everyday clothes on the doorstep looking like your average next door neighbor. And then this incredible voice comes out. Um, oh, I would kill to live on her street. Um, and you would think that an opera singer standing on the doorstep in a cardigan with a microphone wouldn't be your cup of tea necessarily or wouldn't sound that amazing, like just filmed through a phone. But Oof, she did um, Vorjak's Song to the Moon one day and I was just in tears. I watched it about five times. spreading music it, it, it's such a difficult time for musicians but we're all at home and so many unsuspecting people have discovered they live next door to a musician and it's so portrayed as something extra or or a bit weird to do or, or you know or out of the norm but it is a massive part of our of our normal culture there are musicians everywhere I live in the same street as a bunch of musicians <laughs> I actually think it's a really good thing that we might slowly, slowly be returning to a time when everybody accepts music, including heightened theatre and music and art as just a part of the everyday life and it's not considered so separate anymore. Because centuries ago, there was no Netflix, you know? People used to get together and play string quartets to their neighbours and drink wine. And I think a lot of people now having saturated themselves in Netflix, are now starting to see the, the, the value in the other art forms that they're just discovering are right next door to them and right living in their street and happening all around them and happening on their Facebook newsfeed. And I think that's really rather wonderful. And my top, 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 number one, no offense to any of the others, but this is just the best thing I've seen during lockdown. And the thing that's brightened my day every single day the most is um, the pianist Tom Poster and his wife Elena Urioster, I hope I'm saying her name right, they have been in lockdown in America at her parents' place every single day without fail. They have been um, uploading um, amazing videos of them playing together. Um, it's called the Yuri Poster Jukebox. You can look them up under that hashtag. And they have played 
anything and everything to the highest standard, the most beautiful musicianship, sound quality, ensemble, everything. It's like if you got to go to the Wigmore Hall every single day, uh, but you didn't know what you were gonna see when you got there, and some days you got to see Schumann, or um, Gershwin, or Bach, or an amazing Ravel Sonata or something, and, and then another day you might see them dressed up in funny costumes doing the theme from the Titanic. <laughs> Sometimes it even did one where, where he was playing a kazoo in the bath at one point and they all play other instruments and that sounds like it's silly. It's really, really not. They take requests and they take whatever you ask of them and they give it the highest quality music treatment um, with a twinkle in their eye. If you do nothing else today, go and look them up on Facebook and watch every single thing they've done since lockdown began. I don't know what day they're on now, but it's an absolute monumental feat of the highest quality. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Good night.